Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna look at how to draw a simple network diagram. So this could be for your simple home network or a small business. And let's look at it right now. So when you're designing your network, always think about every single device that you need to have in your network. So if we're looking at a home network, you're gonna have some form of a router, you're gonna have maybe some sort of a device that you can plug devices into, whether if it's a switch, you're gonna have maybe some sort of wireless device, which most places will have, which essentially lets your computers and your phones and everything connect to your network over the wireless. Think about other smartphone devices, like you've got your phones, you've got things like your tablets, uh, think about you know gaming consoles, if you have you know an Xbox or a PlayStation that require network connections. Think about televisions, which a lot of televisions now have got network points. Um, media boxes, you know, such as the Apple TVs and the Google Chrome boxes and things of those natures. So think about all these devices when you are designing your home network and you're wanting to draw up what your home network looks like. Now most of the time you'll have some form of a router or a modem set up. Essentially we're looking at a router which routes traffic from your internet to your internal network. So connected to your internet will be a router. All right, we're gonna call this router one. This router one will be connected to the internet via perhaps via a phone line, via a cable connection, via a fiber connection, some form of connection out to your service provider. So your service provider would, you know, would set you up with an actual account to be able to go out and access the internet and that intermediate device between the internet and your internal network will be this router. We're looking at a very simple, simple setup. Some routers may have network points connected to them directly. So they could actually be on your router, some network points, or you can have devices plugged in via cables directly into the router. So you may have a router that is wireless also, which will play the same way. Instead of having to plug in via cables, that can actually broadcast your internet network out to the rest of your computers over wireless. So let's just say your router has some ports available where you can plug devices into it. So you could have your computer that is connected directly into your router. You could have another computer that is connected straight in and you could have a television that is connected straight into your router. This is assuming that your router has network points directly plugged into it. Let's use a scenario where your router is also wireless. This has now become a wireless router. So I've still got my connection running out to the internet. I've got some points on here where I've got a computer that doesn't have wireless is connected in here. But now my router is also broadcasting a wireless network where I can have perhaps a phone. I could have another computer that is now connected wirelessly to my router. Let's just go back to the drawing board. I've got my router and there is no wireless on it. There's perhaps a network point that I can um, you know, use some devices into it, but I don't have enough ports. I've got a lot of devices out on my network and I need to somehow hook them up to, to communicate with this router and then communicate out to the internet. So what you can do is you can have your router connected into a switch, all right? So this is the switch that could be perhaps like a four port or an eight port switch where it physically has, you know, little connections on it, for example. And now devices can plug in to your switch which in turn is connected into the router, which in turn goes out to the internet. So I'm gonna have a device here, plugged in. A computer, and let's say a television. Running into that port here. Likewise, I could now have a wireless router. I could have some sort of a, a wireless device that I wanna attach into my network. So I can now get another router, which is now wireless, and run that into my switch. 
So from my wireless router, it goes into my switch, into my primary router, that goes out to the internet. This wireless router now broadcasts a system, a wireless connection, out to my other devices. All right, whether to my phone, to my iPad, you know, whatever it may be, will now communicate via the wireless router, connect it to my switch, connect it to that router, and out to the internet. So that is my overview. Would love it if you commented below and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up as well if you found this helpful. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.